so do people understand you when you here in Brazil? Do people understand you? Sometimes they do. Some sometimes they they don't. I was moving out from a house to to another one, and I hired some some guys to to help out. You know, carry the the boxes and and stuff. Então eu estava a dizer, olha aquelas caixas ali têm pratos, louça, não sei quê, vão para a cozinha. Aquelas caixas ali têm têm roupa. Digo ok, ok. Viro as costas, começa a andar. E ouço eles a falarem entre eles. Vixe, eu, eu não entendi nada do que o cara falou. <risos> e o outro vira assim e diz assim: Ah, nossa, eu entendi tudo. Minha família é toda italiana. <risos> Você fala português também? Não, ele Sim. fala português. Mas eu sempre confio, confuso so, uh, com, com palavras camisinha, camiseta. E pau com pau. Ah, yes. é, é, também. Isso é clássico. Pão? É. Isso eu tenho pau e pão. Do you know in the south, the gaúchos, they don't say pão, pão, pão francês, they say cacetinha. Yeah. Cacetinha? Yeah, in Portugal we, we call it cassette also. Cassette. To those longer baguettes. Baguette is from Portugal. My really? Mom, yeah, my mom, they're from the Azores Islands. But that's like if your family is from Spain and then you go to Mexico and learn yeah. Spanish. That's kind of what it, I did. When I get back to like, so what's your story? How long have you been here? I came here 2012, 13, and I took a taxi. I managed to do body language communication to take me to sort of a hotel. Where? Centro. I went to the 25 de Marcio because there's a lot of other people over there. So I tried to for, ask for information. What should I do? And they keep saying to me, why did you come to this country? It was a wrong choice. Well, it wasn't a, like the thing I want to choose anyway. I worked for a company for 11 months. Then I stopped. Then I started traveling around. Then I managed to open this place over here. I do restaurant. I do restaurant. Good, <laughs> no, they just sent the to best falafel in all of South Park. Yeah. Villa Madalena. Villa Madalena. <laughs> What's the hardest thing about learning Portuguese? I will say trying to understand like a a group of young people in a bar when everyone's shouting their samba in the background. It's when I just... first arrived to the airport, I told the guy, gracias. He said, no, 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 aqui, obrigado. I said, ha, gracias, gracias. <laughs> I didn't know what obrigado means, man, so. Yeah, I talked yeah, to you didn't people. didn't even like... speak a word of Portuguese when you arrived at the airport, eh? You just knew Centro. Nothing, just nothing. Centro. Yeah, you, know just... He's, you know he's Canadian when he says, hey. hey. <laughs> you don't know anything when you arrived, eh? Yeah, yeah. Said, no, at the end of no, you say no? No. You say no. Oh, no. And everyone no. asks me about that, though. That's like the number yeah. one. Why do you always no. say no? It's like, uh. Um, it's like, obrigado, viu? Yeah, obrigado. Yeah, yeah, why the hell is viu at the end? Uh, viu, uh, viu. It's like viu. Uh, like, did you hear me? Like, you understand? Like, you see, you see? Arabic is so hard because you have to say something different to a woman, a woman and a man. Like, inta and inti. Uh, why inti? Why inta? Assalamu alaikum. You uh, and you. Uh, <laughs> he's good, he's good. He lived in Lebanon. Good. And the pronunciation is good. What about mine? <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Brazil? Uh, I love Brazil, man. People are so friendly. It's yeah. nice weather. I feel like you do something new every day. You meet some new people. It's much more social. Like in the United States, yeah, I have my friends. Here, I meet like different people every day, and like immediately they're your friends. Eu curto, eu curto a cena cultural que existe, especialmente na música. Yeah, eu ia falar. E isso. então é bom estar aqui por conta disso também. Gotta be the, the passion that they have, like you said, friendship, right? Everyone Girls. Safado, safado. No, just the passion. I mean, whether it's the, their, their love they have for a team they go out and they spend, or if they have vacation, they're just all, let's travel. I'm going out tonight, I'm going to have fun. They, whatever they do, they do with passion, which is really nice. As soon as I, I arrived here, I, I didn't have a place to stay. I just posted on his Facebook group, I was like, yeah, I'm a gringo looking for a place to stay here for a few months. And I just got this like insane amount of requests from Probably about 300 different Brazilians. Hey Adam, you didn't want to come to Brazil, it wasn't your first choice, but now that you're here, how do you feel? I love it, man. The country is amazing, the people are awesome. They are so supportive, helpful. Uh, if you, uh, when I get lost, for example, the metro, people like took me by hand yeah. to, to show me where to yeah. go. The only bad thing about them <laughs> they that they don't they don't love their country that much. No, they, they do. They do but they I'm not talking like all of them. Any gonna, yeah, but it's hard know. to make a living here. Yeah. Still, it's hard to make a living here. Well, I lost my country in Syria and still love Syria. You know? yeah. so. I actually agree with everything you said, but I would add one thing, which is I love Brazilian memes. The yeah, way yeah. They, t they take something yeah. that happens oh, on the internet yeah, yeah. and they remix it in the funniest, yeah. like most clever ways. They take it and they go crazy. <laughs> Oi, pessoal!
pessoal, muito obrigado por assistir este vídeo. Não esquece de dar seu like, compartilhe com seus inimigos queridos, seu Doli Guaraná, seu Habibi. Não esquece de me seguir no Instagram, porque ali eu falo quais cidades vou visitar no mês de fevereiro. Vou visitar bastante, com um convite especial que vocês vão reconhecer. Também me dá ideias para próximos vídeos, por favor. Agora, como vocês viram, estou gravando de um jeito de documentário, porque não quero ser exatamente com os outros youtubers, quero ter outro estilo. Mas estou aberto para tentar outros formatos. Então, se vocês têm ideias, ou conselhos, ou dicas, vocês que sabem, vocês são o chefe desse avião. <risos> chefe, não, em inglês eu queria falar, you are the captain of this ship. Mas volta, não sei como falar volta. Muito obrigado por assistir. Beijos, beijos, tchau.